The 1960s were filled with experiences and norms completely distinct to that era. Those who lived through it can attest to how much entertainment, cultural practices, and even simple daily activities have shifted over the years. Today we take a look at 12 things from the 1960s that get lost on today's generation. In the 1960s, it was normal for kids to walk to school by themselves, even if they were as young as 6 years old. There weren't as many cars around and parents expected their children to be independent and find their way to school. Sometimes, kids would walk with their siblings or friends, but often they were on their own. This is very different from today, where most kids take a bus or are driven to school by their parents. The idea of young kids walking to school alone might seem unusual now, but it taught them independence and responsibility at an early age. Walking to school was just a part of everyday life for kids back then. In the 1960s, toys were not always designed with safety in mind. Kids played with science kits that emitted toxic fumes and used ovens that melted plastic. Even BB guns were considered toys and were popular among children. These toys taught kids to be cautious and aware of dangers, unlike today's toys, which are much safer, but often removed from shelves if they pose even a small risk. The difference in toy safety standards shows how attitudes towards child safety have evolved. The scars and stories from playing with these risky toys were almost like badges of honor for kids back then. In the 1960s, when a woman became pregnant, she didn't change her lifestyle much. If she smoked cigarettes or drank alcohol before, she often continued during her pregnancy. Back then, people didn't know as much about the dangers these habits could pose to an unborn baby. Nowadays, there's a lot of advice on what to avoid during pregnancy to keep the baby healthy. Looking at old family photo albums, it might be surprising to see some pictures of pregnant moms smoking. This difference in pregnancy norms shows how much we've learned about health and safety for mothers and their babies. Back in the 1960s, kids learned about money by using real coins and bills to buy things like candy. This hands-on experience with physical money helped them understand how to earn, count, and spend. Unlike today, where digital transactions are common, using real money was a big part of learning about finances. Kids back then knew the value of a dollar and what it could buy, something that's changing in today's world. The shift from cash to credit cards and digital payments marks a big change in how we think about and use money. Learning to manage money through actual cash transactions was a valuable lesson for kids in the 1960s. Back in the 1960s, people had to wind their watches every day to make sure they kept the correct time. This was because battery-powered watches weren't common and most watches needed manual winding. Learning to read a clock with hands pointing to numbers was essential. Unlike today, where digital displays make telling time much easier. Kids today might find it strange that there was a time when watches didn't work on their own. The idea of having to do something as manual as winding a watch to track time shows how technology has changed. It's interesting to think about how something as simple as checking the time has evolved over the years. In the 1960s, westerns were a major form of entertainment captivating audiences with tales of cowboys, outlaws, and vast American landscapes. Shows like Gunsmoke and Bonanza were incredibly popular, and John Wayne was a hero to many. Westerns were not just TV shows or movies, they influenced children's play, inspiring them to don cowboy hats and play with cap guns. This genre's popularity showed the cultural fascination with the American West and its ideals of bravery and adventure. Today, while westerns are less dominant, their impact on the 1960s entertainment landscape and childhood play is undeniable. In the 1960s, kids going to school didn't have backpacks to carry their books, folders, and papers. Instead, they held everything in their hands or tucked them under their arms, which must have been quite a challenge. This was before backpacks became popular in the 1970s. Imagine walking to and from school not just fighting the distance and weather, but also juggling all your schoolwork in your arms. Without a bag over their shoulders, students had to be careful not to drop or lose any of their important school materials. 
It's interesting to think about how something as simple as carrying school books has changed so much over time. TV dinners were a big deal in the 1960s. They were a new, convenient way for families to enjoy a meal while watching television. These meals came in foil trays that could be heated in the oven, making dinner easy and quick. This was a novel concept at the time and changed how families thought about mealtime. Unlike today, where food delivery and pre-prepared meals are common, TV dinners were the beginning of convenience eating. They reflect how innovations in food technology can change dining habits and family routines. In the 1960s, getting your first job was a big deal for teenagers. They could earn between $1 to $1.50 per hour, which was a lot of money for them back then. This job wasn't just about making money, it was also about learning important life skills. Teenagers learned to be responsible by wearing a clean uniform, showing up on time, and working hard. These early jobs taught them the value of earning and managing their own money. It's interesting to see how times have changed, with today's jobs offering much higher pay, but still teaching the same valuable lessons. Watching movies in the 1960s was a special event. There were no online streaming services, so people went to local theaters with just one or two screens. Movies would change every couple of weeks, and there was a sense of anticipation for the next big film. Drive-in theaters offered unique ways to watch movies, something that's rare today. The limited access to movies made each viewing experience memorable and cherished. This contrasts sharply with today's instant access to thousands of movies at our fingertips, making movie watching a different kind of adventure in the past. During the 1960s, the military draft was a reality for many young men due to the Vietnam War. When they turned 18, they could be called to serve in one of the most challenging conflicts of the time. This was a stark contrast today, where the draft is no longer in place and military service is voluntary. The idea of being drafted and sent to war is hard for many young people today to imagine. The draft showed the sense of duty and sacrifice that was expected of young men during that era. It's a part of history that highlights the differences in societal expectations and responsibilities between then and now. In the 1960s, people had a very different way of thinking about Jell-O. It wasn't just a sweet dessert for them, it was also used in main dishes. Moms would mix Jell-O with all sorts of things, like ham, vegetables, or even fish, creating what they called Jell-O meals. This might sound really strange to us today, because we're used to having Jell-O as a simple sweet treat. Back then, finding a cookbook from the 1960s almost guaranteed seeing recipes for these unusual Jell-O dishes. If you had to finish everything on your plate before you could leave the table, you might have been sitting there for a while if one of these Jell-O meals were served. If you enjoyed this American Rewind video, go ahead and watch the next one. And remember to like and subscribe, it really helps a small channel.